Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator, where was Boja always this color? I feel like they used to be darker. I loaded up the game here and now they're this color. I might have to check that in a previous video. I don't know. Weird. Regardless, we just finished up taking over a bunch of Shungen territory. We've got very high aggressive expansion right now and we definitely need to work on that. Our martial advances just advanced. That's good. We get this invention and we're still working our way over towards monsoon navigation. So we're going to grab zone plank ships. That'll be fine. And we're going to grab a couple more of these innovations very soon. We're still at 175%, so that looks good. And I'm reasonably comfortable with our manpower gains right now. So I think that's all completely fine. We're going to continue to work on provincial legations, assuming there are no slave estates that we want to work on. And there are not. So let's grab a couple of provincial legations here. There we go. That should do. And we're going to get those finished up eventually. A minor addendum here. Getting stability for 10 political influence here would actually be really, really good. Can we go negative in our political influence? Can be between 0 and 500. But if I recall correctly, we discovered when we fixed the bug down here that it could go negative. So we're at negative 3 political influence right now. That does boost up our stability, and we're going to have to use this political influence on uh, getting assimilations done, right? That's going to be one of our primary goals here. We are eventually going to have a rebellion here in seven months. These guys are in position to go after that, so it should be okay. We're annexing Pallada right now. Boja we're also going to annex eventually. We're at 186 there. And that's still coming up by a decent amount. So in about three months, we're going to be able to start integrating them. So that'll be good. A grand festival, huh? Integrated culture happiness plus 5% is solid right now. I like it. So we're about to dip down below 50 AE. That's good. We are definitely not going to be going to war for a while. We absolutely need to chill just based on the aggressive expansion. I'm seeing the Magadan Empire out over here. Yep, that's expected. Civic advances. So we're going to grab Monsoon Navigation. There we go. We needed that for our missions, if I recall correctly. Yeah, and we're still working here on getting this colonized. Has less than eight pops and cannot provide for any colonies. Okay, so at this point, we have seven pops here. But I think that's not the only problem. Pretty sure. Yeah. Dominant culture is not integrated culture. That's what I thought. So we need to definitely continue to work on getting conversions here. I want to view pop info. Okay. It requires additional work. For sure. That'll take time. That's completely and totally okay. I do want to get a couple more provincial legations built here. Ooh, I'm actually going to cancel this one. Because we don't want these guys to forget about their road build. <laughs> that would be a problem. That would not be good. So we're going to avoid that for the moment. We've got some disloyal provinces. This one is going to rebel very soon. Country civilization level has finished up. So now that we're done with this, we probably want to be in our religious advances, working on things like Libertini or perhaps... Uh, what else might we want? I mean, mass pewter, pewter production would be good. Grain rations would probably be ideal here, actually. We get the population growth. We get the global monthly food modifier that opens up access to mass pewter production. Yeah, I think that that's the way to go here. Just working our way out over through this stuff. So grain rations for now. Beautiful. 2.5% monthly food modifier is solid. I like it. As far as missions go, for the time being, things largely are what they are. We want to produce additional elephants. That's probably something that we could do. Okay, we've got Bountiful Harvest here. We are going to take the gold over the stability right now. 
Reason being, I want to get these provincial legations built. Wait, did I just... No, I didn't see that. Okay. I want to get these provincial legations built and just get them done. There we go. So now we can bank cash and spend it as we see fit. And that'll be fine. These guys are currently just kind of chilling. Okay. So these guys do rebel. We knew that that was coming. We're going to immediately walk in with this force and this force. And that's all I think we need. So they're leading a war of independence against us. No shockers here, although this will cause us to lose a point or two of AE. We are down below 50, which is very, very good. We're happy about that. If these guys are going to walk down over here, they might attack us down this way. We may actually end up hiring these mercs just to defend the territory, or we're probably better off raising levies, to be honest. We've got plenty of manpower. And we'd rather have the morale. Oh, they're just chilling here. Okay, this seems fine. Not concerned, then. Cool. This apparently has some food problems going on. Okay, that's pretty normal. Uh, go ahead and auto-trade. There. So these sieges are going to be done fairly soon. This war doesn't really do anything, I feel like. These guys are going to keep building for a good long time. We're going to keep dropping AE. We definitely want to work up our stability, but we can't afford to do a Divine Sacrifice. That's too expensive. Yeah, these guys are walking down this way. I'm not shocked about that. Let's go ahead and raise our Carnada Levy. And where did that pop up at? Up here? Oh, that's a little awkward. I was hoping for it to be a little more down this way, but that's okay. We'll just walk on through. In fact, on the way through, we may as well grab this location, I suppose. Cool. So yeah, I mean, they're going to cap here. I'm killing some of our pops. Very rude. Very rude indeed. But we're going to make our way on down and take this territory back. It's a 0% war score right now. Now it's at minus 1. So this is looking absolutely fine, right? I don't think we're going to have any problems whatsoever here. These sieges are going to wrap up. This one is now done. And we're going to walk down to Madurai with this force heading up to Uriar. Beautiful. This siege is actually already over, so we really didn't need the levy troops. We're going to head over here and see if we can intercept these forces. Mm, I don't think we get there in time. It's at 95. This is probably enough, right? Yeah, this is enough. So we'll just go ahead and do this. We are blessed indeed. Cool. We got the Rock of Ages back. We're going to lose half a point of aggressive expansion here. And we are, of course, going to disband our levy. Beautiful. These guys can park back up over this way, and these guys can park back up over this way. Okay, no major problems there. Bojo, we can probably start integrating. Yes, indeed. Mulaka is a lot further away. A lot further away. Subjected to Cassus Belli. We'll remove all of our claims on Mulaka, although that doesn't appear to actually do anything. No, it did. Okay. So that's 160 now. We need to get to 195. Sending a gift will give 25 opinion. We need 30. We can get five more from improved relations. And aggressive expansion will continue to drop. Unfortunately, so will that appreciate protection, but the recently declared war will as well. So we'll get there very soon. We're at 163 right now. We just need to get to 165, and we can get three more. So this will be good. We can definitely get Mulaka integrating. So I like it. We're definitely going to get these guys drilling. Uh, we're lacking a commander here. Okay. So we do need to put in a new commander. We'll put in this guy as the most qualified. 
and we will change that commander on over. Beautiful. Looks good. So Mulaka here is now at 164. We're going to send them a gift as of soon. I don't care about Shunga's opinion of us. Okay, so we're going to bump that up to 189. And 21 December is when we can start this integration. Beautiful. Let's do it. Now, I said that we were going to change our heavy cavalry over to elephants. And we are. So we're going to go into our military here. And I want to get rid of our heavy cavalry. So how do we actually do this? Do we have to... Yeah, this guy's too disloyal. We're going to need to bribe him and hope that that makes him loyal. Are you loyal? Yes, you are. Okay. So go ahead and do that. You can drill. And then we're going to... Four units of cavalry. Four units of cavalry. Okay. We're going to create a new unit, splitting off all of the heavy cavalry. And I want to disband these guys. We'll have to pay them to disband them. But that is completely fine. So we're going to disband these as well. And we're going to put in elephants now. Now, we can actually expand this by quite a lot. So for the second army, I want to put in... Uh, let's see here. Flank size is currently two. We could think about a flank size of five. So that would mean ten war elephants like that. So that goes into the second army. And then for the first army, we would add in 10 war elephants here. Like that. That puts us up to 106. Okay. Beautiful. So flank size of five. We've got the war elephants. This is now a lot scarier, I think. Cool. Are we annexing Mulaka at this point? Yes, we are. Okay. Just wanted to double check that. Excellent. How is our road construction doing? Uh, it's got a ways to go. Definitely got a ways to go there. But we're working on it. Cool. So we'll let them continue to work on that. We need to chill and let our aggressive expansion drop for a while. Do we further expand our armies? Uh, we've only got three slots here. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. And we can't raise additional legions, so that seems completely fine to me. Yeah, I'm I'm comfortable with that. So we're going to have these guys integrated soon enough. I want to check in on our macro builder here. We actually can build some provincial legations down here. They destroyed them, it looks like. Any slave estates? No. So we're just going to build two provincial legations for now. We can get three more eventually. And I want to check in down this direction. This is now 21% Bud uh, Hindu. Hindu, right? No, we're Buddhist. 21% Buddhist. There we go. 73% Hindu. The actual culture is not being integrated at all. But these guys are the correct religion now. Many of them are anyway. So that looks good. We do need to get this put in here. Uh, who does this need to be? Somebody like this. Okay, he's reasonably qualified. No problem whatsoever there. I do want to deal with our stability. A big part of that is our aggressive expansion, right? That's 0.3 of it. <laughs> of 0.3 of the 0 0.11. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the problem. 100%. So we are going to go ahead and get another Provincial Legation. I want to check in on our missions down this direction. So we've got Avanti Assault, which will require that we attack this Magadan holding here. Okay, that's something we can definitely work on. We've got Jungle Elephants, which would definitely be doable. Every 16 slave pops will provide an additional plus one elephant. Yeah, we would need to boost up our elephant production, and that would be okay. We're currently unmarried. A hard bargain, but worth every penny? Uh, no, we'll look elsewhere for love. Sad. I should have looked at that a little closer. Uh, we'll go for, say, 
This one? Splendid. Let's arrange the festivities. Cool. I just didn't want to go into debt and lose all of our road construction. <laughs> that would be definitely problematic. So these guys are going to continue building this road for actually a really, really long time. They've got a ways to go there. So that's okay. We want to build more provincial legations for now. We'll build this one, and then this next one will be a few months out. Cool. And then beyond that, what are we going to do? Well, I want to go into our nation overview, into our provinces tab, and I want to sort by religious unity and make sure that places like this are back on religious conversion. You're at 50% and 59% integrated. Okay, so you don't really need to do anything from there. So just the one location needed to be changed. Sounds good. And as far as this integration here goes, it's getting better. 0.5 now. These guys are assimilating into becoming Lamkin. Uh, we definitely need to work on that religious conversion. And to that end, I wanted to come over this way. That was in the civic advances, right? Yeah, I wanted to make sure that all of this was done. And it is. So that's all looking good. In the religious advances, we want to continue to work on integration, right? So, I mean, making our way down this way is all good. All well and good. Exported drama is pretty decent. Maximum research efficiency there. Okay, I'd like that. Oh, I didn't uh, get that event in time. That's a little bit sad, but we can build another provincial legation. And then we can start thinking about spending money on elephants, right? That's going to be the next goal there. We need a total of 30, it said. Yes, a total of 30. We currently produce 9. Okay. What else do we have over here? The To the Buddha. We need the Relic of the To the Buddha to be in a reliquary or inside a, an owned holy site. Okay. Interesting. I'll have to figure out how to do that one. I'm not even sure if we have it. I don't think we even have it right now. So that's fine. And then what about this over here? 347 out of 500. Okay. Lankin nobility is getting close. 87 out of 100. Cool. Southern consolidation is something that we just need to work on. And once we have that, we can start to work on all of this stuff, right? So we're going to want to go for Lankin trade. Uh, we can call down an omen, and state religion happiness is, I think, absolutely the way to go right now. There's also this civil war brewing that is primarily this jerk. No, this jerk. We're going to bribe him. Cool. No problem. There is some rebellion brewing up, but that's a ways off. I'm not too concerned about that right now. Cool. So Masters of India will need 650 territories. Okay, we'll definitely work on that. That'll be, like, the Magadan Empire will go a long ways towards that. We're going to wait until our aggressive expansion is closer to zero, probably, before we actually attack the Magadan Empire again. We have CBs. So that is nice. We'll definitely work on that. Uh, this territory is impassable over here. Sure. Actually, gaining stability and losing tyranny is pretty decent here. That does drop down our aggressive expansion speed, but gaining the stability is very important. Cool. So we'll take that for now. I would like to switch some of these elephant producers. Let's go over into the trade goods map mode. And let's look at these elephants. Okay. But it has to be specifically within the region, right? Right. Okay, so we'd look at locations like these. And in both of these cases, we would want to drop the provincial legation and put in a slave estate. So that's definitely something that we can do. 
and that will hopefully cause us to produce more elephants eventually. Seize grain from all visiting merchants, huh? Do it. That'll bring our tyranny back up a little bit, which will uh, improve our aggressive expansion slightly. I like it. So that's continuing to drop. Our stability is going down a little bit faster right now, mostly due to our legitimacy. Our legitimacy is decreasing due to our stability, so that's kind of a negative spiral there. Okay, that's not great. We should certainly think about performing a Divine Sacrifice when we can. We did have someone just die, and we should put in this guy. Cool. So yeah, our legitimacy is dropping due to our stability, which is dropping due to our legitimacy. It's circular here. Or actually, no, it's not. Never mind. The stability is affecting the legitimacy, not the other way around. I misread this tooltip. Cool. So that's okay. We definitely need to continue to work on slave estates in these jungle elephant provinces. So this is currently a great temple. And wait, this is a city? This is a city. Okay. So we have 506 here. I think that we drop out the aqueducts. Oh, the entire province is disloyal. So we can't do anything with that right now. Okay. So jungle elephants are up over here. This can swap from a provincial legation over to a slave estate. And apparently there's a civil war brewing now. Uh, what do we got? This jerk. He already has free hands and he's already recently been bribed. We're going to have to try to make friends with him. But it's not great. It's not great. Okay, so what else do we want to work on? Jungle elephants also exist out over here. We can drop the provincial legation and put in a slave estate. Although, it's too disloyal for that. And we can drop the fortress here, absolutely, and put in a slave estate. So that sounds good to me. What other jungle elephants do we have here? We've got one up over here. That province is probably too disloyal. Actually, no, we can do it. So there we go. And there was also a couple up over this direction. Yes. I'm going to drop this provincial legation and put in a slave estate. And then there was this one here, which we don't quite have the cash for. So we'll wait for the cash. It's going to cost like a hundred and... I think we'll have to wait for an additional month tick beyond this one. Yeah. So we'll let that go. These slave estates will finish up eventually. And then we're just going to have to start piling slaves into those locations until they're maxed out in their pop cap. And just hope that that's enough. <laughs> we'll have to work on this city as well that was producing elephants. Not this city, but one of the cities around here. So let's go ahead and grab our slave estate. There we go. Granaries were raided. I'm sure Chandra Gupta can handle that. Beautiful. So it's mostly this guy right now. Okay. But hypothetically, Chandra Gupta, we can bribe. Okay. And then there's also this guy who we can bribe and grant free hands. That brings him up to 31, which isn't great, but it'll do. Yeah, he's actually still not quite where we need him to be. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. We have a very low percent chance of success if we bring him to trial, which is why I don't usually try to do that. Well, we'll try to make friends. I know we already tried that. I don't know if it actually reached any sort of conclusion. So that's fine for now. Our slave estates will finish up eventually. And we're at 9 of 30 right now, but... I don't know that that'll actually change anything. We're going to definitely need to pile the slaves in to these locations, right? And this needs to be dealt with. Yeah, all of that needs work. But it is about time to put a cut in here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We had a bountiful harvest, and we're going to use that for the stability. Absolutely. It is about time to put that cut in here, though, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're hopefully going to have this road completed. We made some progress, anyway. And we're going to continue to work on this annexation and work on some of these missions. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, and Lohan80, Kentogen, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Rogue Corvid, Anna the Elephant, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.